Today's word of the day comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 10. Daniel, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, many shall be purified, made white, and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Many shall be purified, made white, and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Purified and made white and refined. We talk about it all the time. Sanctification is what God does with his children. He doesn't just deliver us out of Egypt and all the filthiness of this world, but he also refines us, sanctifies us, and puts us through the fire until he sees his image in us like a goldsmith looking for his image on the gold. That's when he knows it's pure. It's his work that he does. But we see it's a process, and then there's the wicked that don't understand. And it reminded me of the story, the parable of the uh, um, wheat and the tares. Tares are, are these weeds that look kind of like wheat They uh, when they're young. They, you can't really tell the difference. So I'm going to write read through that quickly here uh, as Jesus talked about this parable. In Matthew chapter 13, it says another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tares also appeared. So the servants of the owner came and said to him, Sir, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have tares or weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants said to him, Do you want us then to go and gather them up? But he said, No, lest while you gather up the tares, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, First gather together the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Amen. He goes on to explain in verse 36 through 43, Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came to him saying, explain us to us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said to them, he who sows the good seed is the son of man. In other words, Jesus and the word. And we, the field is the world, the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom, but the tares are the sons of the wicked one, those not in Christ. The enemy who sowed them is the devil, the harvest is at the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and those who practice lawlessness, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. And then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father. He who has ears, let him hear. Amen. So we see at the end of the age, all things are going to become very clear. As our word said, there will many will be made white and clean, and many will not. And like it says in Second Timothy 3, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. It's all written in the word. It's all becoming true today. And so as we look at our word of the day, many shall be purified, made white and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly. They will understand, but those who put their trust in the Lord will. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this reminder that we are really close. And we pray, Lord, that you refine us, you make us white, you separate us, give us that wisdom and understanding, and help us pray for those who don't have it. And you 
make it all happen, Lord. Help us not be um, deceived, thinking of some kind of taking away. Your word told us you're going to take away the wicked. You're going to take away the weeds and burn them in the fire. Help us just rest in you and trust in you and follow your leading and yield to your Holy Spirit so we'll be blessed in your kingdom. We thank you for this word today. We give you all glory and honor and praises in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day.